Once again, welcome to The Sims Post Race Show. I'm Kevin Boucher. This is Kyle Coppola. Tonight, Memorial Day weekend, we started off memorializing or remembering some of our heroes, some of the, some of the past, by honoring them and blazing them onto the Seacock Speedway 99.7 WPRO 630 Wall of Fame. Wayne Dion, Ron Manfredo, Billy Clark, Don Dion, all enshrined tonight as we kicked off the racing night. After that, things just got hotter and hotter on the track. Talk about starting us off with the late models, and Dylan Estrella picked up his second victory of the 2014 season. Came without, uh, you know, the, the 39 of Nicholas Scola. He was out front trying to pick up his first victory ever in the late models. And last year's 2013 Nick's Pit Stop Legend Car champion, well, it wasn't to be, he broke something in his suspension, and unfortunately for him, had to get taken off on a wrecker. And walking away with it was Dylan Estrella, and he had a great car. Picks up his second win of the 2014 season. Street Stocks followed that up, and we told you year in and year out, this is one of the most exciting divisions you're going to find anywhere. And they proved it again tonight. Side-by-side -side racing throughout the field. Hard-fought battle for the win. Gerard Berthelet holding off Steve Potter for the win. Another great race all the way through the pack, and uh, just went better from there and there. It really did. You talk about the trucks, and John Piva was struggling at the beginning of this season. Didn't have a win yet, but his fluke as a season last year, no, it wasn't a fluke. He got the win tonight, the 21 car uh, truck, I should say, goes and wins. The 21 of John Piva, he had heavy pressure from the 82 Rob Murphy, but he was able to hold him off, and at the end, John Piva found himself in victory at lane. The three most dreaded words in racing, green, white, checker. And once again, it caught Freddie Estelle leading the charge. He inherited the lead late uh, mid-race, and uh, as they came down into one and two, he drifted up just a little bit. All of a sudden, the car went sideways. He went around. Mike Brightman got the call for the assist, handing the lead over to Dave Darling, and he makes it two in a row in the pro stocks. Finishing off tonight, it was a great night of action. Started off with some honoring, ended up with some wow factor. Can't beat that. We do it all again next Saturday night for another great Sims Saturday night. In between now and then, we've got our thrill show tomorrow. Starts at 5 with spectator drags, enduro drags, enduro racing, figure eights, powder puff, a whole lot of action punched into a few hours, starts at 5. Next Friday, we kick off our Fast Friday series with the Knicks Pit Stop Legends, the Pure Stocks, the Sport Fours, and the Seekonk Youth Racing Association. Be sure to check us out on any one of our nights, or all of them, for that fact.